Halloween has got to be one of the most fun holidays that there is. So I thought it would be fun to do a research video on Halloween themed items. No particular kind of item, just all Halloween and all of these sold in the last 90 days on eBay for over a thousand dollars. So let's take a look. All right, so we are going to start out at over $1,200. This is going to be a three-part series, so I will show you lower dollar ones in some videos next week. But for this one, we're going to start at over $1,200. Some of these prices really, really surprised me, and I think they will you as well. So up first is actually some jewelry so this is a lunch at the ritz halloween set earrings necklace and bracelet it is retired it sold for twelve hundred dollars here you can see the earrings up close really really cute which is there and i did want to show you the back it is signed lunch at the ritz all right up next is a lot of cards I never would have thought that these would have sold that high, but now I have definitely added them to my lookout for list. This is a bunch of postcards. This is a vintage lot of 43 original Halloween postcards. Schmucker Winch Freaks Us Collection sold for $1,280. I did want to show you just a few of these up close so you could see them here really really cool with the moon the pumpkins there are witches just a bunch of different postcards and 43 of them sold for twelve hundred dollars all right next is some halloween decorations never again most of these really really took me by surprise and they were very very eye-opening for me this is a it says exceedingly rare vintage halloween complete party outfit decorations this sold for 1275 dollars here up close you can see on the box where it does say complete halloween party outfit for a party of four and crazy crazy sale this was an auction as you see there were 22 bids bringing it up to that twelve hundred dollars all right, Beistel or Beistel, I'm unsure of the pronunciation. I'm sure one of you will let me know. Seems to be an amazing brand. This next one is a die cut, which another auction. This is a dead mint rare vintage Halloween broomed witch die cut decoration from Beistel from the 1950s. It got 24 bids, sold for 13 hundred and twenty five dollars and ninety nine cents and i did want to show you here up close on the bottom of this it does say made in the usa all right next is a costume you knew there would be some costumes in here but there's a bunch in here you really i don't i don't think most people would have guessed so this is a monsters 1960s grandpa ben cooper mask rare flocked box no costume guys this has no costume it is only the face and the box and it's still sold for thirteen hundred and fifty two dollars here i did want to show you this originally was a costume with the mask but the seller only sold the mask in the box for thirteen hundred dollars all right up next is a ouija board and i do know some ouija boards can sell for a lot of money this one sold for almost fourteen hundred dollars this is a rare antique vintage Halloween witchy game Ouija board. This one was an auction, got 23 bids and sold for $1,363. All right, this is the next one. I was not aware of these at all. It is a paper mache lantern and they can be really, really big money. This one is a vintage German devil paper jack-o-lantern 1920s rare it does have paper inserts this one sold for fourteen hundred dollars i just wanted to show you him up close here 
really really great detail on that and an amazing sale of fourteen hundred dollars all right another paper mache german item remember paper mache remember german these are highly collectible and sell for big money this one is a paper mache german witch riding on a cat this one is by paul turner and this one sold for $1,382. It was an auction, got 32 bids, and that was a great, great sale. All right, next is a motionette. I have sold a couple of motionettes. They were Santa and Mrs. Claus. This one is the devil, and it sold for crazy, crazy money. This is a Telco Halloween devil motionette from 19. 87 it did sell for fourteen hundred dollars i wanted to show you him up close here look at his eyes kind of creepy and they are plugging it in they are showing it works and that was a great sale at fourteen hundred dollars all right we came upon one of these in my plush research video if you don't know i do research videos normally about one a week so if you want to learn more about high dollar selling items in different categories and different types definitely check out the playlist of my research videos this next one is a chucky doll this is a halloween trick-or-treat studios seed of chucky doll child's play prop or toy this one sold for fifteen hundred dollars here you can see he did have the box so that is probably what made this one sell so high absolutely great sale at fifteen hundred dollars okay, and then we have a record so like i said this is definitely a theme video not any particular type so you never you never know what's going to come up next i do want to point out with this record that sometimes the art on the covers of these records is what makes them so valuable this is a misfits Halloween light orange this was a 45 first press record vinyl punk from 1981 it was Danzig got 23 bids sold for $1,496.56 and here up close you can see the cover of this record and that is most likely what sold this so high all right up next is a jacket with Yosemite Sam this is a vintage Yosemite Sam six gun shooting leather Western cowboy jacket. I think this one came up cause like someone could use it for a cowboy jacket and a Halloween costume. So this one was size medium sold for $1,499. Here you can see up close on the back, it says rootin tootin and has Yosemite Sam and that was a great sale at $1,500. All right, the next one is a countertop display. If you come across these, I feel like you're gonna come across a lot because I feel like collectors of these are probably gonna have a quite, have quite a few of these items in their collection. So definitely keep an eye out. This next one is a counter display. This is an ultra rare vintage Halloween pumpkin pops mechanical countertop display from the 1930s. And this one was an auction, got 37 bids and went for $1,511.99. And here you can see it up close. It was a lollipop display and it says manufactured by E. Rosin Company in Providence, Rhode Island. All right, we are getting into some more Halloween masks and a lot of Halloween masks do come up in this higher dollar video. This is a Freddy Krueger Dark Ride Master of Dreams silicone mask. This one sold for $16 hundred and fifty dollars it did also have the costume with it here on the underside of the mask you can see it clearly says dark ride so you would be able to identify it
All right, next is the first of the scream masks. The scream masks are gonna come up at various prices. There are generation one, which go for the most money, generation two, which still sell for good money, and then there are others that follow. So this first one is a 1990s Fantastic Faces scream mask by Fun World. This is a glow ghost face, new with tags, this one is generation two it sold for seventeen hundred and fifty dollars i do want to point out to you not sure if you can see it on your screen but this was sold at cvs for six dollars and 99 cents and here on the inside of the mask i just wanted to show you that it does say fun world D division div on the underside of that mask so if you found it without tags you would easily be able to identify it all right following along with the masks here is another one this is a vintage marvel comics red skull mask by dawn post studios this one was an auction got 38 bids and sold for 1902 dollars and 77 cents here on the back of this mask, you can see it is clearly marked 1967 Don Post Studios. All right, this next one is crazy because it's an envelope to a game. There is no game included. It is only the envelope and it sold for almost $2,000. This is a rare vintage Halloween Flaming Fortune game. It does say envelope only in the title. It is another Bisol, the diamond mark. This one was an auction, got 25 bids, sold for $1,925. And here is the back where you can see that this was just an envelope. All right, the next one is a toy. So we are doing all kinds of things. There, there's Dalton. We are doing all kinds of things in this video from toys and jewelry, games, plush, masks. There's, there's a ton of different stuff. So this is an old Mark's whistling spooky kooky tree 10 litho. This is a battery operated Halloween toy with the box and it was an auction, got 14 bids and sold for $2,030.99. I did want to show you here up close. The box is pretty beat up on this, but just having the box regardless of condition can definitely increase the value all right we have another bisel this is another die cut this is a rare antique vintage german halloween bisel die cut lantern it is double-sided it sold for two thousand and fifty eight dollars it was an auction got seven bids i did want to show you here from the top it was a lantern and they are showing that it is double-sided and this is one of those accordion like decorations for parties and that was a crazy sale at over two thousand dollars up next is a big item i did leave quite a few big items off but <laughs> Keep in mind, big life-size Halloween items can sell for really, really big money. This next one is a life-size ghost. So this is a brand new life-size ghost face animatronic. This does have the scream face on the ghost. This one sold for $2,000. All right, the first of VHSs. There, there will be more. And yes, this is a VHS and some VHS can sell for thousands of dollars just like this one. This is a Halloween VHS first release. So that is probably key here on the first release. This one had John Carpenter. It was a rental. It says rare, very hard to find. This one did sell for $2,194.62. So that was a crazy, crazy sale for a VHS. I always keep an eye out for horror VHSs when I'm looking at them. So definitely keep that in mind. All right, next is a Halloween Horror Tales from the Crypt prop. This is a 1996 The Crypt Keeper Tales from the Crypt. This one sold for $2,000. 198 dollars and one cent 
and if you look close here you can see this was originally a four hundred dollar item but this one sold for almost twenty two hundred all right up next is a lithograph that glows in the dark it is a fish one this is a fish halloween 1998 litho glow in the dark ink this is by ward sutton this is in mint condition and sold for twenty two hundred dollars all right next is the first of lamax items definitely keep an eye out for lamax it can be very very good money this is a lamax spooky town halloween chuckles fun house it sold for twenty two hundred dollars i did want to show you here they did show it plugged in and lit up to show that it works and that was a great sale all right next is some more masks this is a set of three this is a mask set gulunatics excellent condition the crypt keeper the old witch and the vault keeper and the set of three masks sold for twenty two hundred and fifty dollars here the masks are up close so you can see so definitely watch out for those halloween masks next is some funko pops and i know there are some funko pops that are worth really big money i'm not super familiar with them but these three definitely sell for good money this is a Funko Digital Pop Halloween Freddy Devil Skeleton and Vampire and they were all in protectors. This set of three sold for $2,299. All right up next is the first of the celluloid little figurines I guess you would call them. I had no idea that these little things were worth so much money but you are going to see quite a few of them. Hopefully you kind of get an eye so that if you see them, you will know to pick them up. This is a rare vintage Halloween Viscaloid Celluloid Veggie Man figure or toy. It is from the 1920s. This was an auction, got 17 bids and sold for $2,303.99. Here you can see his face up close and here I did want to show you the bottom of it because he does not appear to be marked. All right, we have got another Tales from the Crypt and this one came from Spencer's. This is a Jimmy Halloween life-size Crypt Keeper, Spencer's 1996. It does move and have sound, sold for $2,300. Here is the Crypt Keeper from the side. There is a little bit of damage you can see here on him. And then I wanted to show you the sound on this comes from cassette tape. All right, we have got another VHS. This one, unlike the other one, is graded. So them being graded can make them worth more money. If you find one, you've got to decide, is it worth the weight and the cost? Because it does cost quite a bit to get them graded, but it might pay off. And I'm thinking the person who got this one done is not regretting it. This is a vintage Texas Chainsaw Massacre VHS from 1986 early print it does have the media watermark IGS you can see that this one sold for $2,375 and here I wanted to show you the top of it that it is graded and sealed in the container up next is a nodder or bobblehead and it is a witch one this is a vintage antique Halloween composition witch nodder, Germany pre 1920. It sold for $2,400 and $2,428. And here you can see her up close. And then here on the bottom, you can see it is stamped made in Germany. This one was an auction got 35 bids to sell for that $2,428. All right, next is another costume, and this is another costume by Ben Cooper. This one does have the costume as well as the mask. This is a vintage 1963 Spider-Man Halloween costume by Ben Cooper, Marvel Mania, early Silver Age. It sold for $2,500. 
here I want to show you this box up close so make sure you keep an eye out for these ben vintage Ben Cooper costumes. All right next is another paper mache decoration. I will never look at paper mache items <laughs> the same way after doing this video. This is a vintage rare paper mache plaster Halloween jack-o-lantern bonnet four inch candles. So this is only four inches tall it sold for $2,500. So keep your eye out for vintage paper mache items, especially Halloween. All right, we have another lantern that sold for over $2,500. This is a rare, unused, original vintage Halloween skull lantern. It is from Germany in the teens to the 1920s they say this was an auction got 17 bids sold for $2,577 here you can see it up close they do show what it looks like lit up and I did want to show you on the bottom it does clearly say Germany stamped and then it looks like somebody wrote the name Kathy all right we've got some more celluloid coming up and like I said earlier they definitely surprised me this is a mint rare vintage Halloween celluloid viscaloid witch figure toy decoration from the 1920s. This was an auction, got 21 bids, sold for $2,750. And I did want to show you here on the back of her. She does have a mark. It is hard for me to make that out, but there is something there on the back. All right, this next one was actually sold by the artist. Sold for almost $5,000. I wanted to show you it because I thought it was so cool. This is a Trixie the Witch original sculpture by David H. Everett, Chicken Lips. This was an auction, got 29 bids, sold for $4,950. I did want to show you her, her here up close. Really, really cool sculpture and amazing price at $4,950. If that wasn't enough, there's another one from that same artist that sold for over $6,000. So I want to say, if you're an artist making Halloween stuff, there definitely is potential here if you make some really, really cool items. This next one is by the same artist. This is Bella the Witch original sculpture by David H. Everett. This is the same artist as the one you just saw. This one was also an auction, got 47 bids and sold for $6,648. Amazing, amazing sales on these little sculptures. Here is this one up close. The detail is absolutely amazing on them. And this artist does very, very well. Monday, are you ready to go back to school? Yes. He's ready to go back to school. I am going to throw down in the comments. Dalton's teacher sent me their wish list for their classroom. His teacher's been really, really amazing throughout this. She's been texting me every day to check on him, telling us that she misses him at school. So she's been absolutely great throughout all of it. So I am going to get her some stuff off of her. So I do appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful, wonderful weekend. I hope everybody enjoyed FlipCon. I hate that I wasn't able to be there with you, but I needed to be here with him. And I will see you on Monday. I do have a class tomorrow at noon on time management. So if you want to check out my big cartel store, I have quite a few master classes available on there. And I will be listing the September master classes here coming up soon as well. So I will see those of you coming to the time management master class tomorrow. And the rest of you I will see on Monday with the what sold video. And then the other two videos next week are going to be part two and part three of this Halloween series. So until tomorrow, bye for now. Tell them bye. Bye. They can't see you though. Bye.